Let us all rejoice in the Lord and keep a festival in honor of all the saints. Let us join with the angels in joyful praise to the Son of God. this morning for All Saints Day. Unfortunately today and tomorrow, All Souls Day, will be the last public services we will be holding for a month because of the lockdown, but our online services will carry on. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Jesus calls us to share the heavenly banquet of his love with all the saints in earth and heaven. Knowing our unworthiness and sin, let us ask from him both mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gifts we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed. A hundred and forty-four thousand out of all the tribes of Israel. After that I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in the front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my Lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. This is the word of the Lord. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord, and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us, 
by letting us to be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Surely everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia. According to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Seeing the crowd went up the hill, there he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. Happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall be show, have mercy shown to them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, I feel a bit strange. I'm having to re-record part of the Mass. For those of you that watch this on YouTube, the sound just wasn't very clear this morning. So I hope you appreciate um, this. Let's just think for a minute about all saints. When we think of saints, we think of names that we know. We think of St. Peter, St. Paul, St. Francis, perhaps uh, St. Teresa, or uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. And perhaps in Birmingham, we think of Henry Newman. But actually, all Christians are called to be saints. You and I, we are called to be saints along with all those who have followed Jesus in the past ages and all those who will follow Jesus in the future. And the Gospel reader reading showed us how we should become saints by accepting the word of Jesus, by giving comfort to those who mourn, by 
standing up for those who are persecuted for by being peacemakers, by being people who are humble, by people who do what is good and right because we want to follow Jesus. Amen. Let us stand to affirm our faith. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today we pray for the Church, the joyful mother of a great community of saints, that she may bring all her children to the Kingdom of God. We pray for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Pope Francis, Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch and the leaders of all Christian churches. Lord, hear us. In the Diocese of Birmingham, we pray for St. Basil's, which works with young people to enable them to find and keep a home, grow their confidence, develop their skills, increase opportunities and prevent homelessness. In our deanery, we pray for the parish of St. Luke, King Standing. Lord, hear us. For Father Jerry and his family, our parish and congregation, we bring before God the staff, students and governors of St Alden's Academy and Stanhope Wellbeing Hub. We pray for Highgate Baptist Church, St Anne's Roman Catholic Church, the Shear Mosque in Clifton Road, Birmingham Central Mosque, the Bahu Trust and Birmingham Central Synagogue. Lord, hear us. For those in positions of power and influence in the world, that they may be peacemakers who respect the life and dignity of all the children of God. Lord, hear us. For those who suffer persecution for their Christian faith and in the cause of right, that they may continue steadfastly in the way the saints walked before them. Lord, hear us. For the vulnerable, the fearful and the gravely ill and dying during the pandemic, that they may know God's comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. For those in any distress, all prisoners, those who mourn, the sick and all who need God's healing touch in their lives, that they will know the presence of the Spirit, the giver of courage, comforting them. We remember all those for whom our prayers have been asked. Lord, hear us. For the faithful departed, May the Spirit who sanctified the lives of the saints bring them to the reign of light. We pray for all who have died recently, especially Rachel Waterhouse, 
those who have died as a result of COVID-19 and those who have died suddenly, alone or unprepared. We remember by name amongst those whose years mind occur at this time Arthur Beale, priest, Helen Barwell, Geoffrey Frenton, Joyce Brassam, James Teague, George Wilson, Celia Prynne and Mark Trollope, Bishop. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. We offer these prayers with those of all the saints, of St Alban and St Patrick, and with the Mo Mary, the mother of our Lord, and Queen of all the saints. Hail Mary, full of grace. Let us bring our prayers to the throne of grace in a time of silence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. <laughs>
to you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through to the vine and work of human hands, it shall become for us a cup of salvation. Blessed be God for ever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed ab above all your, to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks for the glorious pledge of the hope of our calling, which you have given us in all your saints, that following their example and strengthened by their fellowship, we may run with perseverance the race they set before us and with them receive the unfading clown crown.
source of all holiness, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so far the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Our Lady Mary, St. Albans and Patrick and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the God of peace sanctify you, that may he so strengthen your hearts in holiness, that you may be blameless before him, and that the coming of our Lord Jesus with his saints the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us share with one another in whatever way we can a sign of peace. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Happy are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy are they who suffer persecution for justice sake. The kingdom of heaven is theirs.
let us pray. We adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderfully know your saints. We implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. May God who kindled the fire of his love in the hearts of the saints pour upon you the riches of his grace. Amen. May he give you the joy in their fellowship and share in their praises. Amen. May he strengthen you to follow them in the way of holiness and to come to the full radiance of glory. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Grace.